Hi, and welcome to OPMT 1110, Introduction to Business Math. Today, we're going to start at the very beginning. What is the point of business? The point of business is profit. Of course, there's other reasons to be in business, lots of other reasons, but in the context of a business math class, this is what we care about. Mathematically, profit is defined as sales minus costs. Sometimes instead of sales, we say revenue, and instead of costs, we say expenses. In the context of this class, those are going to be interchangeable terms, revenue and sales. We also sometimes talk about this as money in, money out. And that's going to come up a lot throughout this course. What do we know about profit? When profit is a positive number, that means bigger than zero. That is a good thing. On the other hand, when profit is less than zero, that's a negative number. I'm going to write that that is less than. That is going to be bad. Finally, when profit is exactly zero, that is what we're going to call the break-even point, and we'll get back to that in a couple of weeks. But the word for a profit of exactly zero when sales equals cost is break-even. To understand the different types of expenses and the different types of profits, we're going to go over an example. Example number one. To run a lemonade stand, Charlie and Sam spent $20 in building a booth and $100 on lemons and sugar. They brought in $300 in sales. Find their cost, net profit, and gross profit. Here we have two types of costs. We've got fixed cost. This is also called operating expenses. And some books call this OP for operating or FC for fixed costs. We also have variable costs. And those are also called costs of goods sold. Sometimes COGS and sometimes VC for variable costs. In this case, we have both types of expenses. Our operating expenses here are the $20 on the booth. We spend that once, no matter how much lemonade we make. So that's a one-time expense. That's what makes it an operating expense, as opposed to our lemons and sugar, which is $100. So every time we make a batch of that much lemonade, we're going to have to spend an equal amount of money on lemon and sugars. So what's our total cost? $120 or $100 plus $20. That is our two types of expenses. So now what we can do is look at what we call an income statement. We write down our sales, then we subtract the cost of goods sold, and at the end, what we get is called a gross profit. So in this case, we have $300 in sales, minus 
which gives us a gross profit of $200. That's the gross profit and it is sales minus cost of goods sold. Now we're going to subtract those operating costs. So we spent $20 on that booth and at the end what we're going to get is $180. And that is our net profit. Net profit is going to be all of our sales minus all of our expenses. $180 is how much money we end up with in this. This I'm going to scan this up, is the bottom line. Net profit. So in the end, we have $180 in profit. Let's sum up just the different equations that we went over. We've got sales is money in is revenue. We have costs, that's money out is expenses. We have profit, that is sales minus cost. We have net profit, sorry, we have two types of costs. We have cost of goods sold and we have operating costs, OP or fixed cost, and that is the cost of things that we are spending one time. Finally, we've got gross profit is going to be sales minus cost of goods sold. And then we have net profit, which is going to be gross profit minus operating expenses.